Should we do like one test video or just go for it? I think we should just go for it. Okay, and then you're gonna hold your mic up like that? Yeah, I was gonna hold it. I like it. I like it too. I think mine is on. Will you check mine really quick just to make sure? Yeah, it's on. Is there a green light? Yeah, there's a green light. Okay, green's my favorite color, so that's perfect. Green is my favorite color too. <laughs> that's great. Well, Jinx. Okay, this is our first podcast. Yeah, so exciting. Um, <laughs> We don't know if this is ever going to really go anywhere, but this is just to document our thoughts and feelings exactly. as we go live anywhere. this new... This is going everywhere. Yeah, let's blast it. I mean, I don't know if anybody's <laughs> actually going to listen to this. True, true. So this will be our first one. If you're listening to this, then you are the first listener that we were not expecting to listen. So Yeah. So awesome. thank you. And yeah, thank you. Yeah, thanks for caring. A big shout out. A big yeah. shout out to people who are listening right now for the first podcast recorded ever. For the first, more or less, week or two living in the van? Yeah, shout out to the homies. Shout out to the homies. Shout out to the homies. But this is the first week or two? or I mean, how would you define like the beginning? Because people ask us, like, when are you guys starting van life? And I feel like we started primarily because we don't have a house. Yeah, so I feel like, I mean, there's a couple different ways to look at it. You could say we started the moment we left Alex's brothers, True. Pete's, which we lived up in Nevada City, um, it's a town near Tahoe to build the van. So you could say when we, when we left, that could be one definition, or like when we've spent our first full week or month on the road, which we haven't really done yet, but yeah. that's coming up here soon. And that's kind of what I was expecting it to be like this start off into the journey, grand opening, kind of cut the red ribbon kind of energy. And yeah. Partly because it's the holidays, we've been going to families places and your parents are going to my mom's right now yeah yeah we just left um my parents for thanksgiving which was That's nice awesome. yeah Very it was nice. so nice it was the first thanksgiving we usually do like a big to do but this was the first thanksgiving where we ate at a restaurant and didn't have to do any dishes <laughs> and it was such a vibe i don't know if we'll be able to go back i know to doing great. anything else i don't know if it was a restaurant can we give a little backstory on that yeah it sure. wasn't necessarily a restaurant it wasn't like a chinese place which no also would have been amazing so my grandfather lives in a bougie retirement home and they do Super bougie. like they do like a thanksgiving like prefix menu so i got salmon it was amazing. I really don't like turkey, so any any way like that turkey? I can circumvent the Thanksgiving food, I'm into it. And I got the ham, which was amazing. Very nostalgic. I Stunning. was happy. It was yeah. awesome. It was great. After I ordered the ham, I looked around the table and everyone else was getting the ham. I was like, fucking ham people. I like yeah, this. Yeah, you guys are all hams. You know, because there are some people who are not ham people, especially well, in California growing up. You know, people would kind of turn their nose up to a ham, like, like it's for, you know, common folk the villagers yeah, it but literally ham is amazing it is amazing have you ever been to like a tofurkey thanksgiving because that would be kind of rough no i don't think i have but there was a period where people were doing these turduckins or something like that do you remember those what no okay a turduckin was i don't remember it was like tur uh, like it, a turkey duckin duck it, chicken I think hybrid they put a duck inside of a turkey Oh my god, that's fucking I weird. It was so I don't good. like that I at all. I think that's what it is. I'm not entirely positive, but a turducken. Turducken. It was I don't that. really like to co-mingle meats. Yes, you don't. I, I don't. don't. Only on like an Italian sub. You with, separate your meats. With salami and <laughs> ham. Mm. Do you separate your milk products from your meat? That's just a Jewish thing. But you don't do that, do you? No. 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 Milk products, though. That's kind of... Yeah, so like, I guess they wouldn't have like a cheeseburger, for example. Which is interesting because no, they're missing kosher. out. I know. That sucks. Cheeseburgers are amazing. Yeah. But it was awesome being at this place because it was a retirement home. So it was pretty mellow. Not a lot of noise. <laughs> it was so but mellow. No one. Was no music no blaring music. or anything. You could hear everyone at the table across from you, even if their voices didn't project. Yeah. And you could just have them crank up their hearing aids or, we yeah. could, you know, we could have had cones or something on exactly. our ears if we needed to. Exactly. But it was nice just. So it's nice making food with the family. Yeah. But it's also hectic and time it's consuming. Hectic. It's and time consuming. Because by the time you're done, you've been in the kitchen all day. Yeah. And you're so stir crazy. You're like so cranky with your family by the time you've been like trapped in the kitchen with them all day. It's like, I don't even want to talk to you guys anymore. Yeah. Like, get me out of this table. And people who are like, oh my God, it was so beautiful and wonderful. Like, power to you. And I do agree that that's like been our sentiment for most of our lives. But there are moments and everyone has to agree where they're just like, this was so much fucking work like yeah. someone got upset someone you know someone burned the yams yeah and now we hate them now for we the hate rest them of the day. they're excommunicated from the family yeah and so just 
one year we were like, hey, don't we don't have to set up, you don't have to cook, you don't have to do dishes, we don't have to do all that. Let's just spend time being together. Yeah. And your grandfather He, he made that happen. He did. He, yeah. He invited us to his retirement home, the Bougie retirement home. And I loved it. Yeah, it was a vibe. I mean, we've had better Thanksgivings food wise, but we've never had a more relaxing Thanksgiving ever. We really have And had that's a, what we were going for this year. Yeah. And I think that it's mainly kind of stressful for, you know, our parents because they're setting everything up and trying to host and make everything nice for everyone. And to see them just relax, I, I think initially your mom was like, wait, you know, what's going on here? What am I supposed to be doing? What do I do with my hands kind of thing? But <laughs> yeah, then afterwards, totally. she seemed really chill. I think she yeah. was like, wait a minute, is this what it's like? Yeah, she took to it like a duck to water for sure. <laughs> I mean, what's not to like about just like going on a nice long walk and, yeah. you know, Exactly. Just chilling. Yeah, my mic's kind of hanging down a little bit, so I don't know. Maybe I should. I think it's fine as is. Let yeah, me know. Yeah, I think it's fine. If my mic looks a little bit, it's you a know, little bit like lit. if I have something in my teeth, let me know. Yeah, if my I mic will. is is dragging. You or don't sagging, have anything. You don't have anything. I don't have saggy mic syndrome. Let me know uh -oh. if I do. <laughs> that sounds like a personal problem to me. Just help me out here. Yeah, no, I will. So it was nice. Yeah, it was great. And I think we should do that again. For sure. Afterward, we played. So the bougie retirement home had the nicest putting green mini golf course I've ever seen. Yeah. And according to your grandfather, it was the largest single stretch of grass that was one one piece of grass. There was a statistic. in the world in the world no in North there America no no it, way you know we gotta get him on the line or something I don't know yeah. if we can call him we'll, I think he made that up I think he had a couple he said he had an old fashioned and He's, he was he was feeling himself I don't know if that's true. he said it with such conviction though that you really and the way he said that's it that's what you do I know when you want someone to believe you that's true say it like it's true yeah say and it like it's true and then it'll be true say it like it's true so we played eighteen holes and it was amazing yeah. And Connor is, like most things, just learns really quickly. And initially you sucked. It was like you missed the ball a few times. Mm -hmm. And then by the end, I mean, did you get a hole-in-one or you almost got a hole-in-one? I hole -in -one? narrowly missed a hole-in-one like three different times. Which is unbelievable if you think about it, getting that little ball in that tiny little hole. I think you got robbed because the flag huh, opens oh yeah, that's on the wheel. Right. So we're taking the I-10 right now. So there's a little wind. Yeah, and the I-10 is the most dangerous stretch of highway in the entire United States. We should be really careful. Tell me why again. I don't know. I just made it up. You did? <laughs> <laughs> wow, gotcha. that's conviction. Dang. Gotcha. So it was great. We took our shoes off. Yeah, we were grounding. Which was which nice. Which felt so good. Grounding is important. and it's Also, been... oh my God, really quickly, the other part, best part of going to a, like, like a plated meal for Thanksgiving is you didn't, we didn't overeat. We just ate a normal amount. I hadn't thought about that. Oh my God. That's why I felt so good for the entire day yesterday. I, I wasn't like, I didn't like need a wheelchair to get rolled out of there after we my meal. We weren't allowed second helpings, were we? No, oh, I, was it was, it was like eat? as if you ordered at a restaurant. No, it wasn't all you can eat. You just get your plate and that's it. That was it. Really? Yeah. And the desserts were crummy. So we didn't like, yeah, the desserts sucked, so we just didn't eat them. So that's that's the key. But are you going to do that at home? No. No. You know what? I just remembered that because the dessert sucked, we went home and had dessert when we got home, which was awesome. And we had Connor's mom gave us a Kringle, oh my which gosh. we would have forgotten unless we put it in the fridge right now or earlier, and it's in there right now. Yeah. So we have one. It's supposed to be for my mom. We're taking it to her right now. Yeah. But let's be real. We'll it's going to be between the two of us. <laughs> we'll give her a bite. Yeah. If you guys don't know what a Kringle is, it's this. Oh, shit. Will you help set this up, sweetie? Yep. Ah, Sorry. We just, had a Sorry. we just had a hard break. We had a hard break there. Can you bend it down a little? Ah. <laughs> All right. Ah. little technical difficulty with the camera. I'll have to cut this out. No, we, we'll leave it in. It's okay. Perfect. No harm, no foul. Wow, great setup, sweetie. Yeah. Maybe we could put some tape here in the future. But tape so that it doesn't knock around. Like, to hold it down right here. But yeah, I guess we should also say, I mean, those of you who have been watching our 10 videos so far, 
we have our YouTube channel that we're still putting together in terms of like our profile and any description. Yeah. But the description is we have finally finished building out our Ford Transit. Yeah, we're so excited. It's we amazing. We have our working solar and electrical system and our plumbing and we have all the woodworking done and we're really so excited, excited. to just take on this new adventure. It's unbelievable. It just seems surreal. Yeah. I, I bring that up right now because we have a fridge, a working fridge in the back, an Iceco V90. Anyways, the largest Iceco fridge, kind of Dometic style, top load fridge, and it has a freezer. And we've thrown our Kringle in that freezer. And oh, that, yeah. is, that is why I'm excited. That's where you're going. That's where I'm going with this. All right. So for any of you guys who don't know, the Kringle, it's this like special pastry that you get shipped to your house around the holidays. It comes frozen and it's this big, like, it's kind of like a Danish, but it's yeah. bigger and it's flat and, and it's round. round. And we have one at every holiday. It's like our holiday tradition. So my family wanted to share a little bit of our traditions with Alex's family. So my mom was very sweet, ended up picking one up. So yes. we're about to go spread some holiday cheer. Nicest gift ever. They're absolutely amazing. You can get them in regular and almond or? They have like a million different flavors. Oh, they sell them okay. at Trader Joe's now in the almond flavor, but um, they have like every flavor imaginable if you just go on like their website. So, and the yeah. almond ones are by far the best. They're just bananas. You guys got to try them out. Yeah. But I think what you were thinking when I was talking about the fridge was about what happened when our electrical went out about a week ago. Oh my God. And that was an absolute night. We've had some kind of, excuse me, rough. It was just like growing pains, rough beginnings. It's been a rough start to the van. It really has. It has. It really has. I mean, the good part is that we have been very comfortable in it. The bed is super comfortable. We have space. We like being in it. You know, it's funny if you don't think about this, but if you build the van yourself, you're in it for X amount of months every day working on it. And so when you go to live in it, it feels like home already because you've been in it for a year. Yeah. Finishing it. Yeah, totally. So it's comfortable. But the downside is, is that you, you have to kind of figure out some quirks and things. And for our electrical system, we had a power outage issue that resulted in... So when we had finished the van, we were setting out on kind of our first road trip and I wanted to make us something special for dinner. So um, I landed on scallops. <laughs> Don't ask me why, but we bought these scallops, you know, super expensive, obviously. And then our power went out like almost immediately. So these scallops were in the freezer, melting frozen. in the freezer and... That was just like one thing we were driving around and we were like, what is that smell? Like, yeah. So, so scallop juice, scallops completely melted in the freezer. Scallop juice was able to exit the scallop bag, which is a bummer. I feel like it should have been sealed. So that's kind of surprising to me. Yeah. There, the packaging was, Faulty. it was not good, but lesson learned though. Next time let's slide them into the Ziploc bag. That's a great idea. Yeah, honestly, in the van as well. Like, I'm interested in exploring vegetarianism just for the reason of, like, I don't know. Like, our, we think our fridge is holding things at the proper temperature, but since we've been having all these power problems, like, it's just not worth it. It's not worth it. No, that's so true. And there's something to be said about sleeping with your meat. You know, it's like, it's right there. Yeah. It's not in the kitchen. You, you no. live in your kitchen. It's just right next to you. So... That's something we're playing around with, and especially driving It has around. bad energy. That's true. Yeah. Just toting dead animals around. Yeah, I don't yeah. like it. Feels very old world. Yeah, which, it does. Which, you know, if you're hunting it on your own, then that's kind of cool and sexy. If you have like an elk kind of on the, you know, hood of your car, maybe in the truck bed, that's kind of cool, but. Have you, you know, ever gone hunting before? I went hunting once when I was younger, and then it killed a stingray by mistake, and Mexico when I was 14. No, no. Well, not really by mistake. I had kind of fastened a steak knife to a stick and I went hunting, snorkeling with a brother, and a brother, my brother and my sister and a friend, right? And we caught one, stabbed Why it. did you, what? I'm pretty sure they're protected. Uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll cut this out. Yeah. 
So you just killed it because you obviously yeah, I just, weren't yeah, I, I eat it. I injured it. It was like a flesh wound. So you fine. killed it for sport no. because you you can't eat them. Yeah, you can. Can you? People eat stingray. You're telling me you. That was you the, and your siblings brought home a stingray for your mom to butcher and feed to the family? That no. was the intention. That didn't happen. There was, you know, I was learning how to be a man. It was it was my step in the process. It was my walkabout. Huh, interesting. They were expecting me to return. Yeah, every culture has their own traditions, you know, so this was this was ours. <laughs> have okay. you ever been hunting? No. No, I never have. Would you? I don't know. Yeah. I mean, if I needed to, obviously, but... Yeah. I don't know. I don't. I wouldn't like to kill something. Yeah, you're right. I know, that's kind of intense. But then we do it... We, like, partake in the aftermath, you know? I feel like one of those soft-handed villagers that just, like, you know... You are. Tom, you come back with that thing, but I'm not going to do it. But I'll eat, I'll eat what you brought home. Yeah, you totally are. You're really emphasizing the soft hand part, or what do you mean? You just... Yeah. So, back to where we were going before the camera fell down was Kringles and holidays and the amazingness of not having to cook or clean up afterward. And yeah. we're going to get some of that again tonight because my sister's at my mom's house mm -hmm. and she's making dinner for us. No way. Yeah, Is she, she making matzo ball soup? She's making matzo ball soup. Oh my God, I'm so excited. She's really, really good at. She's perfected it. I've she's heard so much about it. It's basically a chicken soup, a shred, a shredded delicious chicken soup with just little matzo balls, which are little matzo meal, which is kind of like a wheat, I guess. Little, they look like little dough balls. Yeah. They're like little pieces of bread. Yeah, well, like, I know what it is. Yeah, I just haven't ever had it before. No, I know. The opportunity's never presented okay, itself. Okay, I was just explaining it. Oh, so gotcha. People who are listening. If anyone that. out there doesn't yeah. know what a matzo ball is. <laughs> well, I mean, some people might not, you know? Totally. Our first subscriber is in Thailand, actually. No way. Yeah, he's awesome. I forget his name, but shout out to him. He might not know what a matzo ball is. You're so right. Yeah, so I just wanted to, you know, he's just like, I lost you at matzo ball. You didn't explain it. Oh so my God, kinda, you're so right. I couldn't really finish. See, I'm thinking that nobody's going to listen to this. That's true. So, yeah. This drive, though, if you haven't done, done it, as dangerous as you say it is, is a gorgeous drive. Yeah, it's but, stunning. The I-10 West mm -hmm. from Phoenix, Arizona. Yeah, to L.A. To L.A. And we're going to stop in Palm Springs because that's... Or we're going to stay in Palm Springs because that's where my mom lives. And I live. Or lived, I guess. Yeah. And it's gorgeous. It's straight. So as you can tell, we're not really making any tough turns or anything like that. Yeah. And it's just beautiful. There's mountains of dirt and rock. It feels like you're on another planet. And the clouds are just majestic. Absolutely yeah. beautiful. Stunning. Very stunning. Just stunning. Just absolutely stunning. So, and it's straight, so it's pretty easy. All you have to do is just sit up like this. I'm on, I'm, I'm throwing it in cruise control. And what are you doing right now? I'm just looking at our list of topics. because oh, gotcha. I, It kind of feels like. Rambling? It feels like our conversation is running dry a little bit. Oh, really? Yeah. Your energy shifted. Something happened. What happened? Were you thinking about something? No. Okay. I just... Yeah. Okay. I don't know. Well, I wanted to talk about... I wanted to tell, talk about the scallops. And I also wanted to talk about our first night in the van, really. Sleeping at a truck stop. Yeah. And how... Can we talk about that? Yeah, let's talk about it. I just thought it's cool because... You know, you, you think truck stops are a little bit scary. At least I did. Maybe a trucker listening to this right now is like, what is he talking about? Truck stops are awesome. But I think growing up, they were just intimidating. Yeah, well, you're, it's like a club you're not a part of. Ah, that's true. That's true. Yeah, but, you're but, rolling in in your little car and it's like all the guys in their rigs and you're just like, this place isn't really for me, you know? That's true. You don't feel like you belong. Although now we belong and not because we spent the night there a couple of nights. But because, side note, we have a Love's Truck Stop Club card, which I encourage everyone to get if you're on the road. If you're other van lifers like us, then you might already have one. But if not, this isn't a sponsorship, by the way. This isn't Sponsor like... Sponsor <laughs> us if you're well, out there. Yeah, Love's Gas Station. If you are listening, then yes, we will take free gas. But you get 10, you get 10 cents off every gallon. Do you have is, to pay? 
No. Oh. That's amazing. Cool. 10 cents off every gallon. Just for nothing? For being a member. And yeah, for, you're right, for nothing. The, the cool That's interesting. You know, they say, like, if you, if you get anything for free these days, like, you are the product. Uh, like, didn't they say that in the social dilemma? Like, they're selling your data. That's true. But that's fine. Yeah, I'm okay with that. <laughs> Me too. That's true. Okay. But 10 cents off a gallon. I mean, yeah, come on. come on. You can know what my shopping say habits less. are. Yeah. Yeah, say less. <laughs> I'm okay with that. But Love's is awesome. It is a truck stop in the U.S. I'm sure it's national or it could just be West Coast. No, it is. Okay. But they have showers. They have food. There was a Denny's attached. There was a Cinnabon, I think, in one. And we're not eating at any of those places, but it's nice that yeah, they're there. Yeah, it's just kind of cool. But they, yeah, 10 cents off if you join. And their app, you can find all the Love Stops. So it's almost like finding kind of like free camping spots. If you look at the Love's map, you can just see where they all are and get your fill up and maybe get your, your sleepover if you're just doing a, like a transit yeah. flight. Know what it's called. Yeah. Drive. So we spent the night there. It was really nice because we felt like we wouldn't get interrupted. I think that was my main thing. Yeah. You hear a lot about the knock. Like if you're looking at any Van Lifers page, the dreaded knock. And we just didn't want to get the knock on night one. You know, that would be, that would be a bummer. That would be a bummer. And I think that's one of my biggest, I don't know about you, but. I feel like I'm worried that, especially in places like California, that the police will, you know, ticket us or ask us to move for sleeping in the vehicle because I know it's illegal there, technically. I think so, actually. I haven't looked into that, but I believe it is. So, in some states, you can sleep in your car. You just can't be parked for more than 72 hours. I think it's like that in California, no? Okay, maybe. But it was nice to know that we could use a bathroom inside. It was open 24 hours if we needed to. So it was just, it was a great place to chill and grab gas and just relax. Yeah. Make some chicken nuggets. Yeah. So that was really fun. And it was just cool to like have an experience where you think it's going to be one thing and it's totally the opposite in a positive way. Like, okay, this is going to be a little bit creepy. There's a bunch of people here at a club that I'm not a part of. And then you realize just a bunch of people taking things across our country, making our country flow and supporting commerce and everything else that yeah. we participate in precisely and just nice folks sleeping in their cars too or their big rigs so that was really cool yeah that was really cool that was a cool experience it's a really cool experience and we go up to oregon and we got our registration mm -hmm. which is a wonderful experience yeah we're officially registered as a motorhome yes which, which is so cool which is really cool we're excited about it. it is one of those things though where i'm like i think i'm more excited maybe than i should be like oh my gosh we're we're classified as an RV, and I don't even know what that necessarily entails. But I mean, it was just something to check off the list, and whenever anything goes off without a hitch, like that's something to celebrate, no matter like, no matter what. That's really because it's true. so rare for things to go off that anything a hitch. works out that's the first true. time. It is, especially in this. So that worked out really well. They most of the time, you know, we're hearing that your van needs to be inspected to have it registered as an RV, but in Oregon, they were pretty cool and relaxed. They just took our word for it. They said, okay, do you have everything that is needs to be put in to classify as an RV? And I said, yes. And they were like, yeah, for sure. And they're like, awesome. And we looked at like, each other. Sweet. And, yeah. Actually, she just kind of nodded like this. I was like, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? <laughs> and then she just gave me the registration. That was pretty awesome. And then we picked up some water. Oh yeah. The best part of it was on our way up to the Oregon DMV from California, we had to pass through the Mount Shasta area. And in the Mount Shasta area is a beautiful, fresh spring. It is the headwaters of the Sacramento river. And it's a safe. It? Yeah, it is. Oh God, I was I reading that. all about it. It's like a sacred place where, and all the locals come and they fill up their water, their drinking water at this headwaters. So we went and filled up all of our water. And I tell you, this is the, best most crisp water that i've ever had in my life i wish we could have some right now yeah straight from 
the headwater. It's like came out of the earth, right? It was like the beginning of the yeah, river. Yeah, yeah. Headwater, I think, just means like the beginning. So it's like the head. Well, it's like the feeder water. Gotcha. Not the neck water or the shoulders water. That'd be more like in the middle. Definitely not the toes water. <laughs> you don't want to be drinking. If you see a sign for toe water, don't go there. And but it was so good. And there were all sorts of interesting characters there filling yeah. up their water jugs. And a couple other van lifers. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. But yeah. And we were able to actually, Alex knew about this place before, but if you ever are looking for a spring, a natural spring for drinking water, you can go on findaspring.org and it has all of them mapped out, which is really cool. Yeah. Very easy to fill up too. Or we grabbed a Vitamix. So. Yeah. We filled up with like a pitcher, which was super cool. It was great. Yeah, it was great. So, and then we came back down and then just been driving around and doing the holidays thing. Yeah, doing the great. holidays, getting with family. Very nice. It's been fun. We need to sit and map out our next year. We really do. And you don't think about that. Everyone's just like, where are you guys going to go first? And we're like, we don't know. We're just going to drive. But then you're sitting in the car. You're like, okay, what, what do we actually want to do? Where do we want to go? And should we plan it out so that we're going... I think the main thing is seasonally. Yeah. So that we're going with the weather. Yeah, we don't want to be in anything too cold because we really don't have the gear for it. And I just don't really like the cold very much. No. And it's a little bit, at least in the beginning, it's a little uncomfortable to be in rain or cold when you're sleeping in a van or a car. You want it to be dry when you get out. You don't want to track mud in, yeah. that kind of thing. Yeah, totally. So, and speaking of which, we'll give you a van tour here shortly, probably by the end of the year. Yeah. We should do that. We should set up some time. Yeah. You want to put your little toes over here? Yeah, I do. Okay. We're still doing some finishing work, so. Yes. You can probably see that in the video. What do you think? I don't know if anyone can see, but the back. I don't know. It's kind of dark. It is kind of dark. The back doors are finished, but there's the metal trim that goes around the back doors and we're gonna put fur on that yeah there are some things that alex wants to do that i don't get it always but <laughs> normally it turns out pretty cool so hopefully oh, this is just like thanks. one of those things yeah i think i mean honestly i can't think of anything else are you making a face like <laughs> oh i didn't know that i was making one i'm just thinking about like what type of fur like zebra fur cheetah fur I was thinking a beige, kind of like short-haired golden retriever, kind of light golden, to sort of match the natural tones of our interior. All right, I can't wait to see what he comes up with. Yes, we'll it's kind of crazy. Here, I'm gonna bend this down so we can see you. It looks like you're kind of getting cut out of this a little bit. Oh, there we are. There's more. Look at that. Hey. Hey, tiny but mighty. I just said it was kind of like just showing your neck. Yeah. And yeah, you're right. Your neck is beautiful. Thanks. But so is your upper body. <laughs> Thanks. I wanted, to see, I wanted to see more than just your neck. What? You can't see this. It's out of the frame, but Alex is rubbing my foot. And uh, oh, yeah. I just adore so much. No free feet pics. Um, <laughs> But I just store so much tension in my feet. Yeah, you do. Yeah. I mean, does that feel good or what? It feels really good, but it just feels like, you know, when you get a massage and it, like, hurts so good. And yes. you're just like, ah. We were watching The Amazing Race last night with the family. And one of the challenges in Bangkok, I think, was yeah. to, like, an endure a massage. To endure a Thai massage, which, like, if you've ever gotten one, I think they make it more gnarly, like, for the purposes of the show. But... It's just some basic stretches. Like, I feel like we could easily do that. Yeah, I mean, I, for a million dollars, I can make it do a massage. If that's what it takes. Yeah. Eating the tarantula looked a little bit... Like, I think I'd throw up, but I could probably hold it down. But definitely the massage, I could have made it through. Yeah. So. Yeah. For I'm sure. Of, I am not distracted, but I'm really enjoying this view right now. It's absolutely gorgeous. I can take some B-roll that we can try oh to insert. God. That's a really the, good idea. The sky with the clouds, it's coming through and it looks like God himself is it, coming down through it, the clouds. It really does. It looks like heaven. Wow, there's streaks of 
sun rays coming through the clouds. It's so pretty. That is gorgeous. It's so, so pretty. That's a great idea. Since this is a video podcast, you could throw up some B-roll, slap it right on top, help everyone, get everyone immersed in our experience. Yeah. That's wonderful. Yeah, it's so, so pretty. So I can't wait to hear what these mics sound like. We've been, so that, since this is our first podcast, mm -hmm. this is, you know, one of our first long drives. A lot of firsts. Yeah. You know, it's amazing. We have been battling some squeaky noises. So oh we gosh. have our Max Air fan that's up top that whistles so loud. Like we were driving around and we were thinking if this is how it's going to be every single day, like I'm going to lose my mind. Honestly, like when people talk about like van life being hard, but totally rewarding and amazing. I never thought that it'd be a fan squealing that made me like not want to live in a van. Like it's absolutely torture. It was crazy. So Alex built us a little sound barrier and it seems to be working pretty well. We so we roll up of that. Sure. Well, I'll, I'll try to take some later. Oh, yeah, it's it's kind of dark back there right now. I don't Is know it? if it's just, okay. look at me. I'm all proud of my little makeshift. I cut up a, <laughs> I cut up a blanket. Yeah. Basically a not blanket that cool. and some, just like some insulation, but yeah, it's working pretty well to deaden the sound. So it's helping quite a bit. And then we tied a, a sweatshirt around the fan yeah. up on the roof. Do you want to crawl up there and grab some people? Just kidding. <laughs> no. We'll wait. We'll wait till we get to a Loves. Yeah. Loves. Oh, also, we forgot to say that Loves has the best Arnie Palmies. Arnie Palmies. That's Arnold Palmer's for any of you guys playing at home. But <laughs> it's my go-to, like... It's my gas station order, like an Arnold Palmer, and then if I had to get a snack, I'd probably do like Cheez-Its or something. What's your yeah. gas station order? I would say, you know, it's hard for me to have a beverage other than water. Yeah. I'm perpetually dry, thirsty, and then the, the sugar kind of makes my saliva like sticky yeah. feeling. But I probably would have sips of your Arnold Palmer because I love them too. And then my snack would be something simple like you know just a pack of oreos that yeah. i can just throw into my mouth as single little cookie bites that's a good one it is that's a really really good one hopefully double stuff if they had it and if they had them dipped in chocolate double stuff then it'd be the best day of my fucking oh, life oh lord oh loud. oh my god how is this massage it feels so good really thank you okay you're doing amazing scooty all right do you like it yeah i love it does it make you love me more yeah all right it does it makes me happy. So are you excited to see your mom? I am excited to see my mom. And your sister? Very excited. I always am. I What's your favorite thing about each one of your family members? Oh my gosh. I don't think I'm going to talk. I don't think I'm going to put that in here right now, but we'll cut this out. There's so many great things. Really. Yeah, really. They're just wonderful people. They're really creative. My mom's an amazing artist. And so we're going to take a look at some of her paintings yeah. when we get in. And then next Monday, we're going to help her set up for a gallery like, yeah. showing right yeah something like that yeah she wants us to help us hang hang some things which i think means set up for a show mm -hmm. we'll see but i'm excited about that really excited about that yeah yeah and that'll be awesome what i said that'll be awesome yes but the back to the squeaking sound so i want to hear how these mics sound i mean i hope this is working because we didn't really test it beforehand but as long as that squeak is gone by that makeshift cover and the sweatshirt that is tied. Yeah. Or you're done with the massage? No, oh. I'm switching. Switching? Switch them up. That's a good. You can tell my hand is getting tired. You're like, I better get my left foot in. I know. He... Before he taps out. <laughs> I wouldn't tap out. I'm strong. <sighs> Just in case people want to see those guns. Yeah. Give the people what they want. Give the people what they want. So we've tried many different microphones. We landed on this cheap $22 Amazon special. The brand is My Besta, which I think is just the best name. <laughs> there, this is what it looks like. I mean, you can see the mics are on us right now, but it's just a My Besta. That's probably hard to see. I think it's okay. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. I don't know if... What? I just don't know if we need to show it. Oh, we can really? link it down below. What's that? We can link it in yeah, the video true. description. But I really wanted to show them, so that's okay. why I did. Okay. <laughs> but 
but it's an awesome so we're going to test it out hopefully it works we tested it already and it actually worked but um, the other one didn't and a lot of things haven't so even though this isn't the best solution yeah it's a working solution and sometimes the best solution is the one that works that's so true put that on a shirt yeah right seriously back didn't know you're gonna get a bunch of wisdom. I know. Confucius say what? <laughs> so, yeah, your dogs are beautiful, by the way. And yeah, I, I got to a... show ah, show everyone your dogs. <laughs> I but... got a pedicure with my mom. It was amazing. It was. Yeah, I got it... fresh toes. Well, what? What's? Tell us about the color and why you chose this color and what does it represent? How you feel about so it? So I wanted something festive. I always get gotcha. something a little bit weird. Like I'll go for like a yellow or a green. Um, but this time I'm like, I'm going to get a red. And I got out of the salon and it's fully orange. It's not red at all. So we were thinking maybe I need to take like a color blindness test. <laughs> or it honestly, I think it was like the lighting of the place. That's what you're saying. But and it's not fully orange. It just, it's like an orange hued red. I'd it's say. like an orangey red, but it's, it's kind of giving like beach vacation and not like Christmas time. That's true. So I made a mistake. All the girlies know what it's like when you get the wrong nail color and you have to live with it for, I got it on my toes. So it'll be there for a long time. And all the bros know what it's like when your girly gets the wrong color and what it's like to have to live with that. To have to live with that. Yeah. I'm sure you're triggered by it. Just an experience. That's all. (laughs) It's, we're, we're practicing stoicism, so it's just, it's not good or bad. It just is what it is. You know? It just is. Yeah. I've been thinking a lot lately about why I have had to have my nails done at all time throughout my life and the process of letting that go in order to live in a van. And I think I'm almost there. That's really I think cool. I'm almost at the point where I'm ready to just let it go. Why have you had to, did you, what did you say? I think that it made me feel like I have my life together. Oh, uh, yeah, you mentioned that before. I like that. Like, if I have time to dedicate to putting a color on the smallest part of my body, then everything else is in alignment. That's too. true. It's representing of the calmness and, yes, everything yeah. being in the way it should. Yeah. Because if it's hectic, you wouldn't have time to do that. Exactly. Or energy. Exactly. Okay, I like that. That's interesting. Yeah. And so if you're used to that, then the opposite might be true, where if your your toenails aren't done, then you might feel a little bit, like, chaotic. I do. Uh, I do. It's just, like, an easy way to make me feel just a little bit better. Yeah. I like that. But it's silly, and I know that. Well, I mean, if it, you know... It's kind of like something else we were talking about before. I mean, what is silly? What's not silly? If it works for you, if it makes you happy, then it's cool. Everything seems to be silly if you think about it. Oh, yeah. We were talking about people's purposes and what your purpose is on this on this planet. And I was kind of trying to make the case that it doesn't matter if your purpose is anything. Your purpose can be anything. If it's getting you out of bed in the morning, then that's, that's, true. that's good. That is That is good. Yeah, exactly. And if your attitude is good about it, then you're enjoying yourself. And that's, I think that's kind of the purpose there. That's a part of life. Yeah. It's just doing the thing that makes you feel good and enjoying the thing that you have to do with a good attitude. Yeah. A lot of things we have to do that we might not want to, but if we have a good attitude about it, then it's going to be by default nice. Exactly. It's going to be a good time. Yeah. Oh, you're you're dropping off on the side again. Look at you. You're a little little over there. Fix my posture. We were getting in relaxed mode. I know. You're a professional navigator. Mm -hmm. We need to make sure you're rested. I know. And speaking of which, are you? It looks like you're starting to relax a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Are you feeling relaxed? I am feeling relaxed. Are you? Careful. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Which is dozed off there. Careful now. And that's the thing about a long, straight drive is it might make you feel pretty chill. Like you don't really have to focus. Just... I think that's why this road is the most dangerous because uh, people are falling asleep at the wheel uh, more I often. See. Talking about being relaxed is making me want to yawn. Oh, you too. <sighs> so what do we have in store then as we wrap this up? Like, what do we have in store coming up? Like, 
in terms of episodes, what's our plan? This is our first one. Yeah, and then we'll have a week after we leave your mom's. And then, I don't know. Okay. We'll have to commit to some sort of schedule, I think. Yeah. I think, you know, twice a week sounds good. Yeah. Uh, we have a lot going on, and that's something else that, I mean, the other van lifers know this. This is, like, new to us, but for everyone else out there, every day is eventful in the van. I mean, you're either foraging for food or a yeah. place to sleep or fixing a problem. Yeah. Are and, you going to do a solo podcast in India? Oh, that's a good question. You know what I was thinking about that? Is it would be fun to FaceTime each other and record it. Yeah, it would. So that it would be us still. Yeah, I think that that's would a great be idea. Yeah, that are you is into that? Yeah, I want you to take some videos of some stuff. Are you gonna like sightsee on the weekends? I, I mean, was, you have to. I was considering it, but there is a beautiful hotel. I think I mentioned to you called Leela Palace, and I looked it up. I guess it's an old palace turned into a hotel, so it's gorgeous. And I think I might do a staycation sort of thing where over the weekend I might just get two nights at the palace. That would be cool. It's about an hour from my other hotel. Vlog from the palace. Yeah. Yeah, that's a cool idea. And just chill and eat really good food and do some work, actually. But stuff that I want to do. Yeah, I think that's genius. Thank you. Yeah, good. So I think we should do... So look forward to these. I think we're going to do two a week and be updating you on all the things that we've been up to and all the things that we have completed and accomplished. And once we have a map out plan of where we're gonna go, we will let you all know as well. You'll be first to know. Yes. Right, probably at the same time as we figure it out because we're still doing that. Yeah. But like, for example, we have are having some issues with our multi-plus Victron inverter right now. It's, at a, when it gets into absorption, it shoots out a bunch of shoots out. I, I mean, I'm obviously not an electrician. It, it, it starts, blasts it off. Blasts off. It blasts high voltage and then shuts down, saying that there's a DC ripple, which is just a change in current or or voltage. Mm -hmm. And we gotta get that fixed. So we might head out to Vegas next week, which we will tell you all about if we have to. Yeah. And if we do find out what the problem is and we fix it, when we do. We'll let you know. So if you guys have an issue like this, then you can benefit from what we've learned. Yep. And I want to just go to Vegas and consult with the professionals, but we're going to give it one more stab on our own, see how far we can get. Yes. And yeah, we'll keep you posted. Hopefully we have good news to report back. Yes. Awesome. Well, should we sign off? Let's sign off. You down? Yeah. Okay, thanks awesome. for listening. Yeah, thanks for listening. Bye. Bye.